Here I come. <laughs> a lot of what I worked with Quentin on was the sort of self-inflicted torture that I think Rick has within himself, and that resulted in a lot of different scenes that we came up with together. You know, Rick is a good-looking guy, came out to Hollywood, uh, wanted to do westerns because he knows he looks good in a cowboy outfit, and now it's 1969, and the culture has changed, and guys like him, they're out on their ass. It's official, old buddy. Who has been. What are you talking about? What did that guy tell you? Told me the goddamn truth is what he told me. Rick's at this place where he's guest starring on other people's television shows, and he's having certainly a self-worth crisis. He's grappling with that at the same time, lives next door to Roman and Sharon, and hes it's kind of like we're just out of reach. So all those things he kind of wants, the real inner circle of Hollywood and all the glamour that comes with it is just kind of so close and yet so far. Uh, that was Polanski. That was Roman Polanski. He's, he's, he's lived there for a month now. First time I've seen him. <laughs> Holy sh The way that Leo brings a combination of humor and pathos to individual moments is just astonishing to watch. Can we just go back, please? Can we just cut? Can we just cut? No, really? Just no, really? Say really? Oh, please, God. Maybe he already has. Ah, ah, Maybe he already ah, has. God damn it. All right, all right, all right. Woo! Goddamn outlaw, Rick. Come on now. <clears throat> Whew. Whew. I got it. I got it. Go back a bit, would you? It's pretty special. Leo's a really giving actor and does stuff in this film he's never done before. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Like you. Rick. Hi there. Leonardo DiCaprio is one of the most famous names in the film industry, but did you know that he is also known for surviving extreme near-death situations, like the time the plane he was on made an emergency landing after the engines failed, the time he was swimming and he met a great white shark, or the time his parachute was failing to open while skydiving? He is the definition of one lucky man. Remember to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.